Hey guys, Brett here connecting from UB Central, and today we're going to be talking about some very exciting updates coming to Watch Dogs 2. So let's get started. Yesterday, Ubisoft revealed some of their upcoming content for Watch Dogs 2, and I have to admit, they really hit it out of the park this time around. First, let's start with this free update because I'm sure that's what everyone is most excited for. So in this free update, you will get access to Showdown, which contains four multiplayer modes consisting of Steal the HDD, Doom Load, a King of the Hill style match, and Erase slash Protect the servers. Now before we move on any further, what's interesting about this is Showdown was originally only going to be a part of the No Compromise DLC, but Ubisoft decided to make it free for everyone on April 17th, and since they ended up removing that content from the DLC, they added more outfits, vehicles, weapons, and single player content into the DLC instead. So this is literally a win-win situation for everyone. Now I'm not even close to being finished because there is a lot more free updates coming to Watch Dogs 2. For example, drone, motocross, and e-cart races are coming to multiplayer with leaderboards. Ubisoft, I love you. In addition to that, in the open world there will be random appearing loot truck events that will challenge you to hack an armored car while fighting off reinforcements. They are also adding a paintball rifle which will be a non-lethal weapon and 13 new clothing items. Again, all of this is free, and it's coming in April. But that's still not all, because in May, there will be more updates to improve the online, and they will also be adding a new seamless PvE event. And in June, there will be an update to support a 4-player party to explore the city and play activities together. Ubisoft, I just said it, but I'm gonna say it again, I love you. Thank you for actually taking our feedback and continuing to support this game. So with all that free content out of the way, let's talk about the No Compromise DLC, which will be available on April 18th for PS4 users and May 18th for Xbox One and PC players. As mentioned, this DLC was mainly going to be Showdown, but they replaced that with a new DedSec operation, where Marcus will face off against the Russian mob. Furthermore, the DLC will include six single-player race time trials with leaderboards, new clothing items and vehicles centered around police, firemen, and paramedics, which is going to be so awesome. And last but not least, you will get two new weapons, the air shotgun, which can actually push vehicles around, and the sniper stun rifle, which is pretty self-explanatory. Guys, I can't keep saying this enough, but Ubisoft is really killing it so far with this game. This is a lot of content, and it's coming very soon. Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.